That's so nice. The guy who himself is most often the person you can see holding that sign, the guy who we saw get up there and hold that sign behind Trump, uh, he has gone by a few names over the years. He now likes to be known as Michael the Black Man. Uh, but he is one of the Yahweh bin Yahweh cult members who was indicted on the conspiracy to murder charges in Miami back in the day. The guy holding the Blacks for Trump sign who you've seen, that guy there, who you've seen at so many Trump rallies, who the Trump organizers keep putting right behind Trump at his rallies, he was charged with two murders in the Yahweh bin Yahweh serial murder trial in Miami back in the day. Ultimately, he was not convicted. Uh, but the Miami New Times keeps pointing out that this is his past every time he turns up at one of these Trump's events, particularly when he gets personally shouted out by Donald Trump. And oftentimes held up by the conservative media as a sign of real black support for Donald Trump. They keep um, pointing him out, pointing out his signs, because it's basically their contention that uh, the Miami New Times is basically their contention that what this guy Michael the Black Man is trying to do is he's trying to reconstitute the Yahweh bin Yahweh cult. He has, has always maintained that Yahweh bin Yahweh was robbed in that trial, that the cult did, did nothing wrong. And he is seemingly trying to build his own following as a religious leader. Um, the website that's advertised underneath Blacks for Trump, that's a sort of semi-religious semi-religious website that he is advertising there, that he maintains himself on the bottom of his Blacks for Trump signs. Uh, Michael, the black man himself, declared, I should tell you, his own run for president last fall. Back in September, he said he was running for president this year. And the reason Republican campaigns, including Donald Trump's, have been so willing to put him on camera, the reason like, that, that politicians like Rick Santorum have even had Michael, the black man, open up for Rick Santorum at a South Florida polit political event, the reason they're willing to give him so much attention is because part of his insane cult-like theology is how much he hates Democrats and how Democrats are the devil. Incidentally, he also says that Barack Obama is a member of the Ku Klux Klan. But his, his theology, his sort of bizarre cultish theology, has now morphed this year into him loving Donald Trump and going to all the Donald Trump rallies. But the partisan appeal of him holding up that sign that says blacks for Trump, that partisan appeal of that message has been so attractive to Republicans and to the Trump campaign in particular, that I think they've been willing to let this guy get on stage and advertise his website and get all this attention from the candidate and all the rest without asking too many questions about who exactly he is and why exactly he's there. And that is probably why, because here is what happens when you do ask him those questions. Owen Schroeder from InfoWars.com, and I'm here with Michael, the black man on the radio. Now, let's get a quick look at his shirt here real quick. There's the shirt he is repping tonight. Now, Michael, tell me why you're wearing this shirt. I'm wearing this to show my support for Donald Trump and my disdain for Hillary Clinton, who is actually the financier of slavery. Because they're like, what do you mean by you? She's a financier. Her name, her name is Hillary Rodham Clinton, and they're supposed to be the... Uh, the descendants of Rothschild, in fact, her biggest donor is Lynn Rothschild, and of course Rothschild, Rock, Rockefeller, and J.P. Morgan are the financiers of slavery. He's for Trump, and he's against Hillary Clinton because of the way you spelled the word Rodham shows her to be a descendant of Rothschild. And But if you really want to know, if you really want to know the philosophy behind blacks for Trump, this guy who you see at all the Trump events, including today's Trump Miami rally. The real heart of blacks for Trump and why he wears those shirts that says, those shirts that say Trump and Republicans are not racist. If you really want to get to the heart of why he believes it, well here in his own words is his own real explanation. We are the true Hebrews and we're the chosen ones of God and, and don't let them trick you into thinking you're some damn caveman that, that um, was living in the rocks in the side of the mountains. The people who were living in the rocks in the side of the mountains, Hillary Clinton and those Canaanites. And her supporters. It, no, not just the supporters. It's really, it's a group that's actually called the Canaanites that you've seen in the nightclub with the black thing and they're really white with the blue veins. They call them, they even call themselves blue bloods. These guys are cursed with the curse. We call it albinoism because they got that little trait, the little cross out part, and they never come out in the daytime. These people are the Canaanites that were cursed. 
But then they married into Ishmael in Genesis chapter 36 and created an organization called the Hyksos, and the Hyksos became called the Egyptian. Egyptian became called the Philistine. Philistines became called the Babylonians. The Babylonians became called the Phoenicians. The Phoenicians became called the uh, Khazars and Israeli. And today they're called the Illuminati. It's the Illuminati. The guys in the nightclubs with the fingernails and the... Even the reporter from the conspiracy theory website Infowars is like getting a little too much of a needle from the Blacks for Trump guy who was once indicted as part of the Yahweh Ben Yahweh death cult for multiple murders.